Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be doing a video that I guess the idea is sort of a combination of a lot of comments I've seen. I do appreciate you guys leaving these comments and I wonder, are you guys taking on these challenges as well, some of you? Because if so, I would love to know how it turned out for you. So as the title yells at you, I'm assuming it's probably gonna be in all capitals. Every time we score more than five goals on a team, we have to trade with that team. We're gonna be running with the Edmonton Oilers for this challenge. There's no real reason for that just because injuries get out of my face and autosave also I would prefer if you exited my personal bubble Well, there is a little bit of method to my madness with the team that I chose because I feel like Edmonton They just have shootouts. There's a lot of high scoring games or at least that's what I remember I could be totally wrong with that But I just have that sort of intuition that their games are very high scoring There was one game in the preseason where we scored more than five goals and you know what? That's actually a pretty good percentage because there's seven preseason games, so, you know, that's one for every seven. Not too bad. Although the coach expects different, and for some reason wants to play Dreisaitl on the second line center, I will instead play him first line left wing to be with Connor, and then Nuge could be the second line center in between Pool Party and Evander Kane. So this is what the offense for the Edmonton Oilers looks like before we get started here, and before we make any moves. Luckily, we have a plus one on the third pair here. Not that, you know, that's too extreme or anything. It's not gonna make... A big difference, but it might make a little difference. We got Bouchard and Nurse as our top pair. Barry and Kulak as number two. In net, we got Jackery Campbell. The Oilers have Campbell and Hyman. Hmm, how about that? Backing him up will be none other than Stewie Skinner. On that note, let's get started and find out how many five plus... Well, no, it should be more than five, so I can't really do five plus. I gotta do six plus goals. Let's find out how many of those we get here. I suppose I won't do too many games at a time because it could happen... At at any given moment, you never really know. We were very close here against the Ducks, but we put up five. The Arizona Coyotes is a 3-1-W. We got the Golden Knights, our next opponent here. Will they be the first team? No, they will not. 4-1-1 one, one to start the year. Sorry, 4-1-2. I was saying that as I was simming this game. Okay, this isn't looking too promising. I thought there would be more than this. The Rangers will give us a W. 4-3 though, so not more than five goals. We get an L dished out by the Detroit Red wings another l at the hands of the boston bruins but we beat the buffalo sabers 8-6 so we got a trade with them there we go i was getting worried for a second there i do plan to try and make some big trades in this video but for now for some reason i'm assuming because of age strawman's value is much lower than CC's, even though they're the same overall. And we'd be freeing up almost $2 million in cap, which will help us for future trades. I'm gonna try and propose that, and there we go. I actually didn't expect that to go, go through. Just another train wreck over here. I've been recording for about eight and a half minutes. I've already had to cut some stuff out, and I already know that I've stuttered multiple times. Wow, thanks a lot, Strom, and you get rid of our plus one. I don't know why this happens, but if I move Pool Party up, it becomes a plus five. Why did I not try that before? Not a big trade to get started. We were very close to reaching the milestone again. That would have been back-to-back -back games. A 5-3 win against the Jets. We are so close. We just need one more goal. We can't quite get it, though. And a inverse game there against the Jets. Our team is doing quite well so far. A 4-3 overtime loss. That's all right. Overtime losses are still... Still a point. We get a W against the Dallas Stars. Arizona will be our next opponent, and we defeat them 4-3 in overtime. The Golden Knights are up next. They are 8-11-1, so they aren't too and so hot. So close again. Okay, that's a big 8-6 W. Isn't that exactly what the other one was, too? Yeah. That's strange. Lysel is on the block literally 24-7. I got a crazy one for you. I don't exactly want to lose Nurse because he is pretty much our only good defenseman. Well, I shouldn't say that. We do have some 82s, 81, but I mean, he's the only one above 82 overall. Anyway, let's see if this will go through. I am really doubting it because it's very hard to get these players with high trade value, but it's worth a shot. Proposed trade and no, that is not going to happen. I am willing to spice it up a little bit more though. I learned from my Nashville Predators video. I don't even remember what the challenge in that one was. I think that was the one where it was every overtime loss. But anyway, I've added a third here. Still don't think it'll work, but worth a shot. No, it's not there whatsoever, eh? I've got another crazy one for you. Nope. We would be getting a defenseman that is also left-handed. We're losing three abilities, unfortunately. Same overall, though, and we'd be clearing up some more cap space for future trades. I don't think this will go through, and I'm probably not willing to add draft picks to this. I changed my mind. I'm running out of trade 
trades here and I okay there we go that wasn't so bad and we get a plus one now I sort of had a thought that because at the trade deadline more teams put some big name players on the block that we could potentially save the last month here and just Sim past all the games, count how many there was, what team it was, and then make a trade with that team at the deadline. But that doesn't necessarily guarantee that that team will put a big name player on the block. We'll see what happens, but I will continue as business as usual for now. A 3-0 loss to the Hurricanes. Come on, Toronto, give us a dub. No, they did not. 6-5-W to Columbus. That is another trade. If we could get this man's, that would be disgusting. Our first line would be foul. The value does not appear to be there, but we can try it out. Trade rejected. That is what I expected. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. I added Petrov. Still don't think it will work. They don't have anyone on the block. Block. Are you serious? The value isn't there, but we could step up a little bit, maybe, depending on how interested they are. Let's try it out. Proposed trade. They rejected it. Isn't sufficient at all. Is it sufficient if I add a fourth rounder? Yes, it is. Seattle Kraken 4-2. We did not get to the six plus goal marker and we get deleted by the Anaheim Ducks. We are on a California road trip here. Let's sim to Calgary. Will it be a big W against San Jose? Yes, it will. They got Vlasic and Hill on the block, but that's not really anything I'm too interested in. Oh my, $7 million. Now I'm really not interested. The second pick that we just grabbed could become Ferraro. That is if San Jose is willing to give up a player that they do not have on the block. Although the value is slightly in their favor. So let's propose it. There we have it. Ferraro will be playing with Barry on the second pair. The Battle of Alberta. Can we dust them? Probably not. They're doing pretty good this year. They got 20 wins already. And we have a 5-1 win. Never mind. We can dust them, but just barely not enough. 6-1 win against New Jersey. That will trigger another trade. 9 million is sort of off-putting, but I did free up some cap for a reason. Dougie could be our new star defenseman here. He's right-handed. He's got an X-Factor, two abilities, 87 overall, and all it will cost us is a first, hopefully. Let's see if they accept it. No, they do not. Too far off. I tried adding a fifth. That might be enough. Probably not. Whatever. We'll give it a go. No. What if I add in Petrov? Will you accept that? No. I'll oh, sweeten it just a touch, eh? I see you. Is a seventh the sweet, tender touch that you're looking for? Proposed trade? No, just a bit low. I'm thinking a sixth will probably do it, but I'm also just now noticing they have Vanacek and Mackenzie Blackwood on the block. I did not know that they were both 82 overall. Should I go for the goalie? Nah, whatever. We'll try for Dougie. Proposed trade with a sixth. Are you kidding me? Can you stop? I will give them their fifth back. Let's try that. If this doesn't work, I, I might be done. I might be done. I'm sick and tired of you not telling me what sweetening it a touch means. Proposed trade, thank you. We legitimately just made them update their trading block. <laughs> oh my word, they got Palat, Tatar. Not gonna lie to you, I had no idea that Andre Palat was on New Jersey Devils. I had no clue. Hampus and Dougie are the top pair. They don't get a plus at all, which is unfortunate, but you know what? It's still way better than what we started with. 5-4 win against the Islanders. We're going up against the Rangers now, and we get destroyed 6-1 they would have to trade with us technically a 6-5 overtime loss to the islanders so even if we do lose the whole stipulation is just we have to score six or more goals so we could lose and still have to trade is what i'm trying to say here we got the golden knights for what feels like the 80th time this season they give us an l and now it is time to take on the winnipeg jets 2-1 overtime win chicago will be our next victim a 3-2 w battle of alberta results in a w for us in the shootout that is three to two we got vancouver now we will shut them out three nothing smashville is up next and we get handed a 4-3 l okay i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simulate up to the trade deadline now keep track of any if any teams we beat or no we don't have to beat them i just finished saying that i'm gonna keep track of all the teams that we get six or more goals on and then we will make that trade at the deadline if necessary and by if necessary i mean it is necessary if we score that many goals so carolina's on there philly's on there now we got two teams that we will have to trade with come trade deadline day tampa bay lightning will be a 4-2 w detroit shuts us out three nothing the buffalo Sabres are five to three okay so 
Philly and Carolina. Possibly New Jersey again, depending on how this game goes. No, it was an L. It would have been nice to beat St. Louis or Minnesota, I'll tell you that for free. They got JVR, although we don't really have a whole lot of free cap anymore. Zach Hyman has virtually no trade value, even though he's 83 overall. It's probably the contract. Might be a bit of a cop-out, but I'm gonna go for Patrick Brown, just an easy trade. I've given up so many draft picks, but c'est la vie. Let's try it. Brown for a fifth. Will that go through? Yes, it does. That's a no-brainer, you say. Doesn't look like Carolina has anyone on the block that we would want. I'm debating on just doing a one-for-one -one trade here with Dougie and Brett Pesci. Oh, he's a defensive defenseman, though. I don't necessarily want that for our top pair. We could get rid of Lindholm and pretty much solely rely on Dougie defensively and then pick up Pacioretty, which would be good for our offense. The value's quite close, which makes me think it won't go through because of the fact that they do not want to get rid of Pacioretty, not sufficient at all. Not even if I add in a fifth round draft pick. They said to sweeten it just a touch, so I'm getting rid of Lindholm, a fifth and a sixth in exchange for Pacioretty. Let's go ahead and propose that trade. We are done. Anaheim obtained O'Reilly and Bortuzzo in exchange for Perot, a first, and Vakaninen. Another pretty big trade there. Anaheim picked up Spurgeon and a fourth in exchange for a first, Coronato, a third, and Dostal. Dostal? I don't know. Ferraro went up to an 83 overall, so that's nice. But here's what our defensive core looks like going into the rest of the season here before the playoffs. Offensively, we still have Drysaddle McDavid and Pool Party together, but then we got Kane, Nuge, and Pacioretty on the second line. So that is a great second line. We got Yamamoto, Yamark, and Fogel on the third line. McLeod, Brown, and Hyman as our fourth. Campbell's chicken noodle soup will still be the starting goalie. Now we can sim a lot of games in a row here. Wow, what a hot way to start off the post-trade deadline. There's three games in a row we would have had to have made trades, so thankfully we are past the trade deadline. Another one against Vancouver there. Another one again. Oh my word! We're getting a lot of games here with more, or I guess I should say six or more goals. I simulated to here and forgot to do stop simming when the whole notification came up saying, hey, season's done. So I sim past the first two games, and we are off to a good start. We finished just shy of 100 points, getting 99, and we had 47 wins on the year. Calgary won the Pacific Division with 102 points. Toronto gets the President's Trophy, getting 119 and 57 wins on a year. That's a pretty good season, I would say. Seventh place in the entire league is not bad at all. We take that all day long. Oh my word. Chicago got in at 18 and San Jose got in at 20. That is wild. We may or may not have an Art Ross trophy coming to the squad this year. McDusty put up 107. We got 106 from Drysidle. Patches put up 65 in only 80 games. Nuge had 61. Yamamoto 56. Then we had Kane with 55. Not bad. Dougie Hamilton put up 43. Ferraro put up 31. Our goalies didn't do so hot. A 905 save percentage, 279 GAA. Five shutouts on the year though. We just won't really talk about this right here. Campbell actually had the most wins in the league. That is crazy. I mean, he tied with Soros, so there's that but he's right there. It's 75 games played, a 924 save percentage from Bobrovsky, and we got a 923 from Markstrom. That man right there had himself a season. 84 points from Roman. That is a stellar performance from a D-man. Victor Hedman had 66 points. The man that we tried to trade for ended up putting up 60. Miro had 59. Hughes and Fox both had 58. We do get the Art Ross and we have the second spot as well with Leon Matthews is in the third position there with 103 points. Crosby had 101 so those are the only players to break 100. I think it's pretty safe to assume that Matthews gets the Rocket Richard with 56 goals. Yeah the next closest was Cooch and he is not even close. Let's continue our playoff run 2-0 right now against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. We will sim the next two games as well. And just like that, we have ourselves a best of three. Came into the series hot, and now we're about to get first rounded because obviously. I honestly saw this coming from a mile away. I'm not even surprised. First period, second period, I'm just gonna third period. Oh! Okay, we're slightly out shooting them, but it doesn't matter because Terry's gonna get a power play goal, and there goes 
the Edmonton Oilers playoff run. Those are the three stars of the game in case you were interested. Colorado wins the Stanley Cup. They won it IRL and they won it in this simulation. The lads just didn't show up for playoffs. Kane did. He got six points, point a game, but Dreisaitl got four. McDavid only got four. Can't blame Jack. He had a 932 and a 216, so he did his part for sure. Pavel had 16 wins and we have a 928 from both Vasilevsky and Markstrom. 927 from Swayman and a 9 33 from Saros. I feel like Saros almost always sims well. 17 points from Hedman. He will lead defenseman in the playoffs. Mikar had 16. Sergachev had 11. Nathaniel absolutely smacked the league. 27 points in 23 games. 25 from Cooch and also Braden Point. Point a game from Rantanen and Marchand put up 22 but he only played 16 games. I actually don't know who played Colorado in the finals. It was the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, how about that? We are not going home empty-handed. The Art Ross goes to McDavid and so does the Hart. Yossi gets the Norris very, very deservingly. Lady Bing is going to Austin. Caulfield gets the Calder Memorial. Con Smythe goes to Nate Mack. Markstrom gets the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Frederick. Alexiak gets the Masterton, Howe gets the Jack Adams, O'Reilly with the Selkie, McDavid with the Ted Lindsay, and Matthews with the Rocket Richard. Here is your playoff tree. One sweep there in the second round of the West. We won the first two games against Anaheim and then completely collapsed and got melted. That's the way she goes. But anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Appreciate all the comments for video ideas. And I think that'll do it. So on that note, I'll see you soon.